Hi Carl, thank you so much for letting us be here today. It's been a great event so far. So I just want to know your thoughts on the development. Um, as I mentioned in my uh, opening uh, speech, um, Alison Holmes um, was based in Spalding. I built the company up before I sold it and the Alison Holmes disappeared for a number of years. Uh, we brought it back um, alongside the Laughly brand and this is one of our first sites back and it also is something that brings back happy memories because when I first joined uh, Alison's back in 1987, um, Pinchbeck was one of the first was one of the first sites I saw and was developing at that time. So it's going back full circle. So I'm quite proud yeah. of relaunching the brand and the company back where it first started. Um, so recently you've been talking quite a lot about the housing needs and now the construction's reached a high of 160,000 homes last year. Mm. Do you think the UK has positioned themselves appropriately to produce the 300,000 homes this um, year? One of the one of the issues, and um, people probably are aware that I was very much in Brexit, um, a Remainer. Mm. So I don't want to go on because democratically the election decided that that wasn't the right thing to do. Yeah. But the implications to many industries are the construction with the EU Labour issue. Um, the reports are and been dealt with separately in that, that there's 43,000 people going to be lost to the construction industry because of the EU migration issue. Now those 43,000 are the people that have been delivering the houses that we've been delivering over the last few years. My big concerns, and I've been lobbying government continually, is that we really need to sort out Brexit and immigration because if we lose those 43,000 people and we've lost probably a lot of them already yeah. we haven't got the skill sets and whilst the government are doing their best to get the skill sets up it, it's not an overnight thing because the culture of the UK has been that younger people don't necessarily study the sciences and the construction industry so therefore we've had to bring in people to try and help to build the houses that are desperately needed and those people now are going back because they don't feel welcome yeah. and therefore that's a big problem. So to lose a number, 43,000, is the number that's been predicted overall. Clearly to replace that skill set with the yeah. indigenous UK population is almost impossible. So I, I'm afraid that it's more like a pipe dream than it is something like reality because of, of that. And really, a lot, the quicker the government can sort out this issue and class um, people such as electricians, plasterers, bricklayers, ground workers are skilled because as far as I'm concerned, if you do something that people can't do, yeah. then it, they're skilled, uh, but they may be classed as, 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 as unskilled in the, in the politician's eyes, and that would be very, very wrong because yeah. we don't need skilled people. We need a lot of people who are deemed to be unskilled but I would deem it to be very, very skilled because it's something that we can't do as a, as a country. Therefore, as far as I'm concerned, they're skilled, as they are in the um, agricultural industry, as they are in the care home industry, or as they are in the nursing profession, as they are in the cleaning profession. So all of these people are, are very skilled because we need them desperately, and yeah. actually. So that's so I'm not confident about yeah. the 300,000, I'm afraid. It's nice you're all kind of doing your job to go towards the 300,000. Yeah, we yeah. are. And I will not be, you know, I would, in my way, I mean, clearly we'll, we, we do, we're, we're expanding within the constraints that I mentioned before. Um, clearly, we did about 400 units last year. You know, we'll do more this year. I'm planning my um, program around what we can deliver. Yeah. Um, I've committed to um, a number of um, educational areas for skills myself. I'm a, I'm a governor and a founder, a member of the UTC in Peterborough, which I got um, funding for and we built a new, a new uh, UTC, which specialises in sustainability, engineering, construction. Try and get younger guys and girls to XD get into those industries to be tomorrow's kind of people, but that takes time. And we also support the Stanford College and other colleges. So I am doing my bit yeah. to try and see whether I can get young boys and girls to actually think the construction industry is a good industry to be in. And there's lots of facets of it, 
and to try and change people's perception and also get younger people to like doing the sciences rather than all the other subjects yeah. because it's scientists we need to come through to be engineers and construction people and designers and, and frankly for a long time the education system has been against chemistry, physics, maths and biology, those subjects which are passionate for me mm. and we need to reverse that somehow and get younger people to, to, think be, more that, involved to be involved in those yeah. subjects because those subjects is what we need post-Brexit because they're the future designers, engineers who do things and can make things happen. We need that to compete yeah. afterwards. And you are choosing such lovely areas as well. Pinchbeck is such a beautiful village. Yeah. Do you think this specific development will add a lot to the community? Um, I pride myself on the fact that when, we, when I've developed over many, many years, I, I always think that when we look at a development like this, mm. um, it's important that we integrate into the community. And this scheme, I think, is ideally placed. It's got, yeah. it's got, um, it's got the industrial area nearby, so people work nearby. We've got, obviously, supermarkets and shops nearby. So it's absolutely a fantastic location for anyone who's working nearby and living nearby. And I'd like to think that when we finish the development, it will add some real value yeah. to the community here. And to be honest, I'm, all, I'm proud over the years, 30 years of deli delivering, that I can go back and look at the site that I saw 30 years ago, and it's now integrated as if it's been there forever. Yeah, oh, it's been great. Well, thank you so much for having us today. Yes. And we look forward to keep looking around. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you.